Okay, today what I want to do is show how the Action Tech uh, screen beam works uh, with the Service Pro 3 and we're doing that up in my lounge room because it's where I have uh, my LCD panel. Um, today Lucinda is going to help me, uh, it's my daughter Lucinda who's four and we're going to show you how to use the screen beam. So to start off with, um, the screen beam is really simple to use, all we do is plug it in to the HDMI connection and then we're going to also connect to the power and in doing that it'll just boot up the device and it'll get started. On the Surface Pro 3 to connect to the screen beam is a very very simple thing. Um, once this is actually got up and it's in receiver mode and you'll see it on the screen, um, it, it'll then just a matter of on the Surface Pro just going to the displays and devices, sorry, the devices and then to the displays and then we can connect up to it. And that's almost ready. I'm doing this real time because I really want you to see how easy it is. So if I just swipe in, I can then go to devices, uh, choose project, and then from project I can choose my Action Tech um, screen. You can see now it's hooking up um, and now everything is mirrored between my device and there and I'm completely wireless, um, which is really, really cool. So this has a lot of uses because obviously I can project um, the screen and there's nothing, I'm not going to demo that particularly um, because I think anybody can imagine what it's like being able to move around and project. What I'm going to do today is we're going to hook up my USB camera uh, and this is the Logitech camera and then we're going to use the OneNote application. So I'm just going to go into OneNote and I'm going to insert uh, the video recording and uh, so record video and when I do that you get the preview and I'm just going to go up now to the meet recording menu I'm going to pause that and change my settings to go rather than the default device I want to use um, not for audio for video I want to go to my Logitech camera and go OK um, and now when I'm doing that if I go back to my menu and keep recording um, so stop and now if I record the video now I actually have my camera up and running and now I've got a wireless camera uh, being able to do things so Lucinda what are we going to show first can you show the toy okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set up the camera and let's put Einstein down there on the ground well, that was very gentle put down on the ground, wasn't it? And let's have a look at Einstein on the big screen. Um, oops, there we go. And let's focus, let's see your focus there. Um, he's not focusing, which is really handy for a nice demo like this. There we go, oops. And um, I think I'm probably just that little bit too close. There he is. Um, and you can see he's, he's focusing up nicely. Um, and so now we could actually talk about Einstein, could we? What, what do you want to talk about Einstein? Or are you going to move him out? Or are you going to stand him up? That's a good idea. Let's stand him up and put him like this. And so now we can see I've got a, a lovely wireless camera. Oops, he's fallen over. Um, and you can sort of see probably the lag there in there as well. Um, in that it's obviously going, it's, it's got a nice frame rate to it, but it, does, it isn't 100% real time, but that doesn't really matter. Um, one of the other thing, it is, that's beautiful. Uh, one of the other things you can do is you can use this as a document camera. So I'm going to come over here and let's have a look at this picture, Lucinda. Do you want to tell us about this picture? What's this picture about? It's that's a computer there. Okay, so that's the computer over there. Um, yeah. And that's <laughs> that a flat bit. You, you, go, you, go, you go stand up on the TV, point at the TV. Uh, that's a computer and that's yeah. Is that the mic? Mic fight. Right. That's a note coming up. Right, so that's a, that's a picture of Daddy recording, isn't it? Yes. Um, and so you can see here, um, I haven't quite got it set up tall enough to do that. Stop hanging around. Um, but you can see there, we can use that as a, a nice document camera as well. Um, the last thing that we want to show is, do you want to show the fossils? I'll do that all by myself. Oh, you can do that all by yourself. Okay. So you, you talk about the fossils for me then. What's the, what's the, what's the grey one called? You need to leave it on there so we can see it. That's it? This is a, um, uh, 
I'm a knight. Yeah. Um, I don't know what these ones are called. They're called Lavinia. These are Lavinia. No, you need to look at that camera up there. No, Lavinia. Lavinia? Keep talking. And... What else? Well, I might, I might talk now. Is that okay? No, so. I want to... And also, they lived a long time ago when there was dinosaurs. Oh, very good. Okay, and something else that you need to stop moving for a sec, so the light stays the same, listen up. Um, the other thing I really love when you've got in one note is, especially with the Surface Pro 3, if I do the double click on the purple pen, yeah. um, now what I can do is I can take a screen clipping of that, and I use this in class all the yes. time, and the nice thing about that is that screen clipping now is sitting within one note, and I can really, can you just wait a sec, Cindy? Um, and what I can do is I can annotate, so we could actually start talking about um, that being the Ammonite and these being the Lavinia and um, the different ways that they were actually you, um, they were living and all that sort of stuff. So um, just a really, really quick way uh, to show um, how the screen beam works. Um, and as a science teacher, I think um, with uh, a camera like this, you've got a completely mobile setup so you can do anything that you would really like to.